Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord. Let them rest from their labours, for their good deeds go with them. Let us pray. Almighty everlasting God, who sent your Son to die that we might live, grant, we pray, eternal rest to those who gave themselves in service and sacrifice for their country. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The souls of the virtuous are in the hands of God. No torment shall ever touch them. In the eyes of the unwise, they did appear to die. Their going looked like a disaster. They're leaving us like annihilation. But they are in peace. If they experience punishment as men see it, their hope was rich with immortality. Slight was their affliction. Great will, be, great will their blessings be. God has put them to the test and prove them worthy to be with him. He has tested them like gold in a furnace and accepted them as the Holocaust. When the time comes for his visitation, they will shine out. As sparks run through the stubble, so will they. They shall judge nations, rule over peoples, and the Lord will be their king forever. They who trust in him will understand the truth. Those who are faithful will live with him in love. For grace and mercy await those he has chosen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. How gracious is the Lord and just, our God's compassion. The Lord protects the simple hearts. I was helpless, so he saved me. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. I trusted evil when I said, I am sorely afflicted, and when I said in my alarm, no man can be trusted. I will walk in the presence of the Lord, in the land of the living. O oh, precious in the eyes of the Lord, is the death of his faithful. Your servant, Lord, your servant am I. You have loosened my bonds. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. The language of the cross may be illogical to those who are not on the way to salvation. But those of us who are on the way see it as God's power to save. The scripture says, I shall destroy the wisdom of the wise and bring to nothing all the learning of the learned. Where are the philosophers now? Where are the scribes? Where are any of our thinkers today? Do you, see how, do you see now how God has shown up the foolishness of human, human wisdom? If it was God's wisdom that human wisdom should not know God, it was because God wanted to save those who have faith through the foolishness of the message that we preach. And so while the Jews demand miracles and the Greeks look for wisdom, here are we preaching a crucified Christ. 
to the Jews an obstacle that they cannot get over, to the pagans madness, but to those who have been called, whether they are Jews or Greeks, a Christ who is the power and the wisdom of God. For God's foolishness is wiser than human wisdom, and God's weakness is stronger than human strength. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. 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 Happy are those who have died in the Lord. Let them rest from their labours, for their good deeds go with them. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word. My Father will love him, and we shall come to him, and make our home with him. Those who do not love me, do not keep my words. And my word is not my own, it is the word of the one who sent me. I have said these things to you, while still with you. But the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all I have said to you. Peace I bequeath to you, my own peace I give you, a peace the world cannot give, this is my gift to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. You heard me say, I am going away and shall return. If you loved me, you would have been glad to know that I am going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. I have told you this now, before it happens, so that when it does happen, you may believe. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, filled with paschal joy, let us pray more earnestly to God that he, who graciously listened to the prayers and supplications of his beloved Son, may now be pleased to look upon us in our lowliness. For the shepherds of our souls, that they may have the strength to govern wisely the flock entrusted to them by the Good Shepherd. Be pleased to hear us, Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer for the whole world, that it may truly know the peace given by Christ. Be pleased to hear us, Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer for our brothers and sisters who suffer, that their sorrow may be turned to gladness, which no one can take from them. Be pleased to hear us, Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. For our own community, that it may bear witness with great confidence to the resurrection of Christ. Be pleased to hear us, Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. O oh God, who know that our life in this present age is subject to suffering and need, hear the desires of those who cry to you and receive the prayers of those who believe in you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the almighty and merciful God bless and protect us.
the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit.